Good morning guys. It is pretty gloomy today, which is a bit annoying because I am going out into the world today. It has been literally the worst weather here in Melbourne the past. Wait, I'm back in Melbourne. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> this whole intro has gone so wrong. Pretty much the house that I stayed in in Melbourne in, was it June? I had the best time, went back to Byron. I don't know why I didn't film or vlog the whole time I was there. I just got sucked into life. But anyway, got offered a sublet here in another room in the same house. And I don't know, it just felt like one of those moments where life was handing me an opportunity and I was like, I just have to do it. Like it just felt like everything was flowing in the direction of me coming back to Melbourne. So I'm kind of also really thinking to move here soon so this is a little bit of me also like figuring that out and trying to figure out the next step into like actually being here permanently which is crazy but anyway today i just wanted to bring you guys along on a day in my life here it was literally hailing yesterday like proper hail um so i've pretty much just been chilling at home which has been really nice but I'm starting to get to that point where I'm like okay I need some life we're just gonna have a really nourishing nice day together and I'm excited to just see where the day takes us we are gonna do a little fit check I just got sent this bag from Sage which I think is so cute all of this stuff cannot fit into that little bag so I decided I'm gonna take my movie tote I could sit around and wait all day You lay easy on my mind Like a candle I just burn away All we really have so cute i literally could have stayed there forever but i was like i need to continue on with my day otherwise the whole vlog is gonna be literally me just reading in the cafe so i actually met or like saw a youtuber that i've been following for literally years i went up to him as he was leaving and i never know like with like people you follow on social media like do you go up to them or not i always really love when someone that like genuinely loves my content comes up to me and is like hey like i really I don't know it's just so nice because so much of the time when you're putting things online you don't know who the hell's watching them so like every time someone that like watches my channel or like follows me comes up to me it means a lot so I was like you know what I'm gonna go up to him so as he was leaving I like went and said hi and he was just so sweet and genuine I feel like so much of the time when I meet youtubers they're always quite humble and sweet compared to sometimes <laughs> meeting other creators not to like diss anyone but I feel like there's something very humbling about YouTube because it's usually a bit of like a slower climb and you really gotta love it because it is just so much work 
to do long form content. But anyway, he was so sweet. And so that was really random. Um, but yeah, I just had such a nice time. And now I'm going to go to a bookshop that a friend told me I should go to. Um, so I'm excited. Let's go. Oh. through this area of, I believe I'm in Collingwood still. Am I not in Collingwood? No, I'm in Collingwood, right? This whole area is so nice. Like all of the apartments here are so, this is the thing, like this is the kind of place I'd want to live. But it's just so hard to find nice apartments that aren't super expensive. Carla's dog who lives here but she left to Italy yesterday is that why you're all sad and funny <laughs> I'm wearing the new top that I got because it actually got really hot so I was really glad I had it but I would highly recommend go to swap because <laughs> it's actually such a um, such a cool shop I'm so happy I'm home I think I've hit that it's 3 p.m. now and I feel like I always hit a slump at 3 p.m. but it's honestly been a 10 out of 10 day I'm so grateful for YouTube sometimes because like I feel like if I wasn't vlogging today I wouldn't have done as much as I did today and it's not that like it was put on for the camera but it's just like sometimes that motivation like I feel like I'm so good with friends I like making an effort and doing fun stuff, but when it's just me, I can get really lazy and I think that's something I'm really trying to get better at is like pushing myself to still do like fun stuff and like just putting that extra effort even when it's just me because I feel like that's showing myself love. I'm gonna do a tiny bit of work now on my computer because I haven't really <laughs> been doing any work today, which has been great, but I'm just gonna do a little bit of work and then I might message the girls and see, part of me kind of wants to do Pilates today, part of me is like, Fuck that. So I want to message um, Heidi and Chloe and see what they're up to. Also, this um, tea is so soft, but also the reason I really liked it is because it's from the brand Mam Mambo? Mambo? It's like an Australian brand. I think probably one of the first times I came to Melbourne, they had an exhibition going on. And I don't know why, but that exhibition really stuck in my mind, probably because it was like my first time in the city and I was like oh my god this is so cool I think I was with my mom I don't even know if she remembers it but I don't know there's something about this brand that I really associate with that first time that I was ever in Melbourne and being like so wowed by the city and just thinking it was so cool because when I was 14 I was like oh my god after school I'm moving to Melbourne 10 years later from being like what 14 and being here and I actually am moving to Melbourne 10 years 
I manifested it from that first exhibition to now. Now I'm moving and I have tea. Heard you're back together. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. You have to taste me when he's kissing you. <laughs> Guys, look who's here. Hi, Do you like yeah. my new phone, guys? <laughs> guys I stop. paid two dollars for it. What? Yeah, and I get this Polaroid of joy. <laughs> Polaroid, part of this photo, you little donk. Ordered burgers. We were so cheeky, and we got Uber Eats because I have nothing to cook with at home, what? except the bread that I bought. Why did they make these? Hard. And we're gonna watch a movie tonight. Yeah, we're thinking maybe something really, really cheesy. I hope she does a little. Oh, there she goes. <laughs> dance, Joy. You did. Oh my God! What have we got in here? Then? Some burgers and some chips. Oh. oh. You knew a lot about bathroom law. It was a short chapter. Thank you. Oh. Okay, we just finished the movie. Listen, it was shit, but I can't help. I, I did giggle a few times. You could do so much better. I think we should get together now. <laughs> They both come, so yes, they, they so go well. Too. Hello, guys. Okay, so Heidi left. It was so nice to just chill and have, like, I don't know, a little gremlin girl night. I'm so grateful for those friends that you can just be so yourself and literally put no effort. Like, it's just so effortless and easy in the best way. So, I love you, Heidi. I fully sprung the whole, like, I'm moving to Melbourne on you guys, but I guess to, like, kind of wrap up this day in this video like I think the big reason I'm thinking to move here is like I do have just such a good community of friends here and like I have such a good community of friends in Byron as well and friends all over the world that I love but I'm starting to be a grandma in Byron and I feel like I want to push myself to keep trying new things and meeting new people and I don't know progressing in my career and all of that and it just feels like a lot harder to find the motivation to do that in Byron. Just the classic being in a big city thing is just really helpful and yeah I thought I'd be back in London but I just don't really feel ready to fully move to London again yet. I think like community wise like so many of my people are here. Family wise I just really like being close to my family at the moment. Sorry my battery died but yeah, also like financially, London is just crazy right now, especially as an Australian with the exchange rate, like you just lose like half your money. So I don't know, with everything, I'm just like, I know I'll be back living overseas um, in the future. Like I just know it, but I just don't feel like I need to rush it. And it feels like life is just kind of pushing me to come here with my brother moving here and so many of my friends living here now. and. It just kind of makes sense for me to come here for some reason and I think as I get older one of like the biggest things I'm learning is like life is such a call and response. I feel like I'm learning to go with the flow instead of like fighting against what is naturally just happening and working and yeah I don't know I know that moving here might not be easy and I'm kind of always like nervous to talk about it in the vlog because I'm like ah oh, like you know haven't even found a place yet or anything this is like really just like kind of the beginning of it but I do feel like it is probably the right move for me and yeah who the fuck knows what the next step is part of me is still hoping to be in Europe in October but who knows with that so I'm just kind of going with the flow but having a date today where I could just like hang out with myself and go to all these cool new places and work and see my friend at the end of the day and get to like feel I don't know excited to film it for you guys it was really refreshing and just like made me like yeah I think I 
think Melbourne may be the next, the next step. So, with that, I will leave you guys. I hope, if anything, this video maybe inspires you to have a little day for yourself where you can do fun things that maybe you've been meaning to do or if you resonate to just going with the flow if life is kind of leading you to go a certain direction and kind of giving you these opportunities take them thank you for watching i'll see you soon